how to transfer Figma to WordPress. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can transfer your Figma themes into WordPress. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So for this to work, what you're going to need to do is you're going to come over here onto Figma. You're going to have everything ready, right? Your website, your themes, whatever. What you're going to need to do now is you're going to have to install a plugin. So you just simply click on this button right here at the top corner. You're going to scroll down and click on plugins and click on find more plugins. You're going to click over here. It's going to open up the plugin section right here. And what you're going to need to do is you're just simply search WordPress to Figma or Figma to WordPress or just simply search for WordPress and you will find it right here. So as you can see, this is a theme right here. So what you're going to do is you're just simply going to click on run. And over here, you can go ahead and run it right here. This plugin's name is Yotaku or Figma to WordPress by Yotaku. And now what you're going to do right here is I'm going to enter in the email address as well, right? You're going to sign up and you should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my email address and sign up. Next, what you're going to do is it's going to ask you to select frames. All right. Over here, you just simply click on this button. Let's say we select this frame right here. The home page, we selected the entire page and now we just simply click on add frame. There we go. We have the home page. We also want to add a shopping cart. We select that. We click on add page. This is going to be the normal page. We also want to select product page select the type of page so we added the shopping cart it's now asking us to select the type of page we'll just say it's a normal page there we go now we want to add the product page we select add product page this is a posts page we'll just say it's also a normal page there we go we now have more products we now have more frames now what we need to do is select continue it's going to go ahead and use the assistant over here it will take estimated of 33 seconds to complete and this will automatically try to detect interactives and wordpress elements so let's go ahead and select yes i want to use that it's actually a really good plugin to use now let's just wait for a couple of seconds for it to process the entire theme and as you can see it is ready now we just simply click on next step two now over here we have wordpress elements we have footers we haven't added the footer but we can add that later but for now i think this is good we can go ahead and select a footer as well. So let's go ahead and select it. We haven't added a footer right here. So we don't, I don't think we would need to, but yeah, for now, I think this looks good just for the sake of this video. Just so you can understand once you have everything, you've added the footer blocks and the forms and all of that. Then once you've selected them, just the exact same way I showed you, you just simply click on continue and of course we are missing some elements but it's okay just for the sake of this video uh, we're just simply going to click on continue without selecting and over here are all the steps all right all the pages the product pages for the headers and all of that and we just simply click on continue now we just simply create our website over here figma url all right we can go ahead and add my figma url we'll just say demo website or whatever click on create your figma url wait for a couple of seconds i think i messed it up i forgot to add fonts let's go ahead and add some fonts as well all right so now i have changed the website uh for some reason it wasn't working for this one i hope it works so now let's go ahead and try it again i'm gonna go ahead and add my email and do all of that again let's go ahead and select the main frame this is the main frame there we go the entire page there we go Okay, now I have detached them. So let's go ahead and select the main page. The main page is going to be, let's say here and here. This is the about us page. We want to go ahead and we'll select the hero as the main page and select continue. There we go. Now we are going to select another one. We'll click on continue. Click on the assistant. Now it's going to go ahead and process everything. And there we go. It is now building. Over here, as you can see, you're optimizing. And over here, you can go ahead and select the reasons you want. But yeah, over here, it's uploading all the assets. And it's going to do its thing for us. We're just simply going to let it rest over here and do its thing. Well, it is taking quite a bit of time. But you guys understand what you need to do, right? Like, follow the steps and install this plugin. And then you just simply 
let the AI assistant do its thing. And once you have selected all the elements, you just wait for it to finish. And once it's finished, since you've added the email into the beginning, they will send you the theme on your email address where you can download them. And then what you will do is you will come over here onto your WordPress website. And over here onto the WordPress website, you are just going to go ahead and simply install the theme. Now to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to click on appearances, right? Over here, you have theme editor, optim, customize, whatever these options are, right? You just simply click on themes, right? Find the theme option. And over here, you can go ahead and click on the add new theme. As you can see, we have a bunch of other themes as well, but that's okay because we are not interested in them because we already have our theme. So what you need to do now is just simply click on add new theme and just select and upload your theme right here. So you have the upload theme button as well. You just simply click on the upload button, choose the file that they have sent to you and you are good to go. After that, your theme will be uploaded. And since this is a responsive theme, all right, it's going to do its thing. I don't know why it's taking so long. It should be done, this, but I'm just simply going to let it go on or cancel it because after that, there's not much else to show you or tell you because it's basically it. You just simply let it do its thing. You get the theme, you go ahead, go to the WordPress website, click on themes, upload your theme, choose the file and then install it. And after that, you can customize it and link each pages and each buttons to your own specific buttons as well. And you should be good to go. And also, guys, if you're wondering where I got these things from, well, the website itself, the theme I got from the community as well. From Figma community, you can come over here and you can just simply search for landing pages right over here in the Figma community. You can search for it and you will find a couple of different things over here. You can find paid ones for free ones as well. It depends on you. You can go ahead and search for all products and you can choose whichever one you want. So you have Figma, Figma Jam. You can go ahead and select whichever one you want. I just simply came over here, typed in website and I found one that I liked and to use it as a demo. You can just simply find it over here and let's say you like the design, right? Let's say you like this design. What you'll do is you'll click on the design that you like, right? And wait for a couple of seconds for it to load. It's going to give you a simple preview over here in a matter of seconds. That's loading up right here. As you can see, there you go. Now you can just simply go ahead and scroll it, zoom in over here, see what it's about, how you like the design and stuff like that. And once you've liked it, you can go ahead and open it up in Figma and you can start editing it out, right? And if you're wondering about WordPress, well, I got the WordPress from Pantheon. It's a free website where you can easily get a free WordPress website. So just simply search for Pantheon over here, like so. You come over here, register yourself, and you can just easily go ahead and get a free domain and create a free WordPress website. Of course, the domain is going to be a quite a large domain. So as you can see, it's going to have a dot Pantheon site over here, but the rest is you can go ahead and add a custom domain as well. It doesn't really matter, but the hosting is going to be free. So if you were wondering about that, but anyway, that is it for this video, guys. That is how you create Figma themes and convert them into WordPress. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below, and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, if you guys found this video helpful and educational, then be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.